I'm calling these motifs. And I am thread bombing my tree in front of my house. Um, I got the idea from yarn bombing, but I didn't have the colors and the yarn that I wanted. So I decided to use what I had on hand. And this is some thread that someone had gifted me a while ago. And I have probably about 40 or 50 different colors. So I decided to use it. This right here. Stop it, please. I decided to use uh, this. And hopefully this is will be trial and error. Uh, these are just stuck up here for right now because I have to sew the next round on. So when I get done, I think I'm going to take a pin, a push pin, and push it right into the tops of those once I go up as far as I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go up to right there where that piece of limb is sticking out the tree. I could probably cut it off and keep on going up. But I think right to there would be great. Okay, so uh, I will be showing you how I make the motif. Uh, how I start the motif basically and then you can go from there with the patterns that you'd like and then I'll show you how I connect I connected the sides like this starting to give me some more uh, pulls but I really didn't need it but since I had started it that way I just kept it if I ever did another one I would just connect it the way that I'm connecting uh, these right here. I like this better because it frames out each each motif. But like I said, this is trial and error and I'm just making this video to inspire others that might want to do something to embellish one of their trees in their home. That's Cherish right there. Alright, I'll be back. I also used uh, jewels, little beads, different types, and in between each one of these is I, I added them, and they'll pop out when the sunlight hits them, was my thought, or any kind of light. I just used all kind of beads as I connected it. All right. And then I'm trying to find a position. Don't have a camera girl here. She's being lazy today. I think I'm gonna start. I start here. One, two, three. I have to start here. I'm trying not to make any um any of the same colors touch it. And I have nine colors. So and on this one it had 18 sections at the end so I divided that by six so I counted uh, six spaces to connect the sides and leave the six on the top out for the next row so that's how I kind of put it together I think that's beautiful. So I'm going to start somewhere. I'll count over one space. To, I count the little V's I did as six. One, two, three, four, five, six. See how I have six left? So three will go over on this one. And three will go over on this one. So I'll start at some point here and work my way down if my camera girl comes. So a stick 
my hook in the V spot, pull the yarn through, and I chain three. Getting rid of that tail at the same time. Just grab a V point at anywhere on here. And I found that my yarn has to be behind the work. So I pull it through. And I'm, you see I put a, a, a jewel there. So I just pull it through with a single crochet. Actually, I couldn't do this anywhere. That was wrong. I have to... Um, get my side. This, these are all connected together. I make one whole strip if I didn't show you that. I make one whole strip... Of nine panels... Fit around my tree. So I needed to start it in here. This needs to be up at this point. Let's see, can you see it? This needs to be somewhere up at this point in order to bring this in. Placement is very important. So I need to get my six in. One, two, three on this side. One, two, three on this side. Four. All right, so that's how I'm going to place it. Let's do that. Alright, so you guys get the idea. And then... Alright, so I just put it in here. Like I said before. And chain three. One, two. I want to get that ball in there. Start getting rid of my tail. Alright, so I found the best way for this for me is that if I start on this side, I go back and forth. Cherish, please stop. I come over on this side and do a single crochet.
and then I jump back over to this one all the open spaces and do the same crochet and if I want to put a bead in there I can Then jump over to the other side and go in one of those spaces with a single. So I'm just basically framing. Because I'm in this one, I'm going to jump over to the next one. I'm sure I want to get a bead in there somewhere. And then I'm going to jump back over. the other side and I don't put bees on every one I'm averaging about five in this placement <laughs> the bark is very rough so it makes it easier to hold the piece on there All right, my son's here. I'll be right back. All right, well, my son came in, so I'm going to... He said it's raining, so I'm going to go ahead and get this up on the tree. So what I'm going to do right now is just kind of place it so I can seam it together so if it starts raining too hard, I can uh, come back out and do it later. Next row I do, I'm going to do a little smaller. The motifs that went to a smaller hook size. This hook size I used an I. I'm going down to a D so that the motif will be a little smaller going around and tightening up on the tree. It won't be so loose. Okay, so I need to seam together. So everything I just showed you at the beginning, I'm taking out a loose. We'll do that in a minute. But the way I've been doing these is zigzagged with three chains in between. So. straight across. Alright, I'm just going to go across and connect them together. Three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so I connected those two together with the chain three in the middle. And this is thread I'm working with versus a rope or yarn. So I'm just going to chain up three more and go back over to the other side. I'm going to alternate that back and forth. I'm getting rid of my tail right now. I don't want too many tails. So then I just go over to the next space and do a single crochet. Still getting rid of that tail. And then I'm also putting a bead, <laughs> a bead in between. Remember I told you about that? One, two, three. I'm going to jump over to the next opening, which is a little V space, and do a single. I'm going to 
gonna bring up another bead. One, two, three, and jump down to this one. And then I'll just keep doing this uh, on this side here, just to connect it together. And then I'll cut it, and I'll come back and show you how to frame the tree. Okay, I lost that camera person, but this is what I started. And I cut it off. And I uh, tied it really good. Put it through there. And then I started it right here. And connected these. Now I'm going up. And then I'll just keep going up and down, up and down, all the way around until I come back over to here. When I get over on this side, I'll be doing this, this, and it'll meet here and that whole row will be done and like I said when I'm finished and I get up the tree right now my thought is I'll position these some kind of way I don't know if I'll make them a point or I'll make them a little oval like the bottom is uh, and just stick a push t uh, push thing in there all right so that's gonna be enough I'm in round one two three four right now Sorry about that. So, I'll be back at you.